And joining me in the studio is Federation Chairman David Dick and Chef Shanoa French. Thank you so much for both coming to the show. Thank Glad you. to be here. Shanoa, I hope this isn't what you call too many cooks in the kitchen here today. You will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we get started on our great recipe, David, I want to talk to you just a moment. Tell us a little bit about the Federation itself. Well, the Federation is the state 50 cents of the dollar. The state's collected 50 cents, goes to the Cattlemen's Beef Board, and 50 cents stays at home in the states. There are 45 qualified state beef councils, and that's what makes up the Federation. Very good. And how does the Federation get involved in projects emanating from the Culinary Innovation Center? Well, there are a lot of things that that 50 cents can do, and through the Federation, we do a lot of recipe research, mm -hmm. which is part of new product development, and uh, we get things that uh, Shanoa brings to us that are easy to do at home and tasty just the same. Absolutely, and it looks like she's already started. Shanoa, tell us what we're cooking today. Well, today we're going to do a, a different take on your traditional pot roast. Okay. So this is called the Southwest Beef Pot Roast, and um, what I have is a usually a three to four pound bottom round. All right. So this is one of our lean cuts that we've used, and I've started rubbing a little bit of cumin. Um, you mm -hmm. can use fresh ground cumin or you can buy it at the grocery store and just about two teaspoons, rub it all over the roast. <laughs> So okay. it gives you some nice flavor. Sure. Over here you have a nice big stock pot. I've yep. added a little bit of oil and you heat it up. And what we're going to do is the importance of that heated oil is we're going to get a nice sear, which will help impart the flavor when we do some braising, which is what this recipe requires. So, gotcha. and, and you would even do this in a, in a uh, cock, crock pot kind of a you situation? You could do this recipe in a crock pot, but we would recommend that you sear and you brown first, first and then go ahead and, and throw it in the crock pot. Okay. Um, crock pot is if you're going to want to start in the morning and let it run all day. Gotcha. In here you can do it in about two and a half to three hours. Um, on the stove top. Sure. So a little bit of oil. Um, as you see, I've rubbed a little cumin on there. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper yep. to the same top and season it as you you wish. They call sure. for about a half a teaspoon. I'm going to start, this had a little bit of fat cap, so sure. I'm going to start with that down All right. um, just to kind of render that some of that off. So Pretty you good. get a nice dog, sear yeah. on there. Um, medium heat. I'm just a list of those little sprinkles That's on here. Standard. And yeah. what this does is you just kind of let it brown on all sides. So Hot pan, you'll hear a little see, see, mm -hmm. um, the sizzle, let it wait until it releases, and then you'll go ahead and flip it and move it around all sides. Very good. So I'm going to let good. this go. This recipe is a really quick and easy um, That's recipe. good, quick and easy. Yeah, we so like we that. that. <laughs> Anybody can do this at home. Well, that's what our consumer research tells us, too, yeah. that it has to be quick and easy. Yeah, yeah, this one's not under the 30 minutes, but but it's less than 30 minutes prep time for sure. sure. Right. So this is two cups of salsa. Mm -hmm. Pick your favorite kind. Yeah. Right now they're doing a lot with chipotle salsa sure. or a green salsa verde, right. whatever you like. Okay. Um, and then it'll be two cups. As soon as we get this all browned, uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and and flip this to the good. other side. Um, you'll add the whole the salsa in there okay. and go ahead and put a lid on it. Uh, so and your your salsa will come to a little bit of a boil, which is what you want, and that's simmering. Yeah. Um, and then we're gonna add a lid to it, turn the heat down to like medium at the highest. You don't want to make you want to make sure that when you put your lid on there and you're gonna cook it for about two and a half hours, yeah. that you don't run out of water because okay. that's the braising right. process. Um, if you need to add a little bit of water back in, um, you can do that, but you'll put a lid on tight um, and then you let it simmer until it's pork tender. And, and that's the, the term that we use for end doneness mm -hmm. with any braised product. Um, a lot of times when we're cooking steaks, we talk about medium rare is 145 or, right. or that, and we don't have a degree of doneness for braising, it's just fork tender. Gotcha. Okay. Um, gotcha. So I'm going to go ahead and Hey, it's looking good. Out. Yeah. yeah. Good. So get a little bit of flavor. And you said probably about three hours or thereabouts. Two and a half to three hours, kind good. of depending on, on altitude and the heat. Right. You'll add this in there. You'll see that you get some good sizzling. So you'll bring the salsa up okay. to a little bit of a boil. It's a little different than the old carrots and potatoes in a pot yeah, roast, isn't it, David? Onions too. <laughs> Onions too. So spin that around. Boiling, you just put the lid on, and I'd turn it down, like I said, to that right. low medium heat, and you let it cook. All right. Um, once it's fork tender, you're gonna pull your meat out, yep. and then go ahead and add oh, some it's black a, beets. a can of black beans. Yeah, good. Go ahead and drain them and rinse them, yeah. and then um, a cup and a half of corn. Fantastic. And this can be frozen corn. Um, if you want to use canned corn, just make sure you drain it and rinse it. Okay. This just gets added at the end, and it gets all mixed together till it's hot. And then you pull it out and um, go ahead and slice it up. Look at this. And then this David, be a, now that looks good. That yeah. does look good. We've yeah. served it over here. This side has a little bit of brown rice. On, right. the, on the right over there is a little white rice. So you can kind of depend whatever the family wants and some corn chips. 
Well, David, I don't know if that's uh, Southwest Missouri, but it's certainly a Southwest recipe and it looks delicious. Now, you can get details on this recipe and other great beef dishes on our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org.